The writer strikes her over, and while the actors haven't made deals yet, they'll probably follow soon, but things still aren't going to be positive for the writers because analysts and screenwriters claim the deals will cause writers to be out of work as studios cut film and TV productions, and honestly, I can't say that I feel sorry for them. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, make sure to follow me on social media, check out the links in the description, and consider supporting the channel via Patreon or YouTube memberships. So, starting off with this Bounding Into Comics article, it says financial analyst claims new WGA deal will put writers out of work as studios cut film and TV productions. Now, I understand there were a lot of people that didn't care about the writer strikes, and I agree to a certain extent. I mean, I care because everything is at a standstill, or was, but at the same time, these are the people who have ruined franchises completely obliterated uh, nostalgic work that we all know and that we all love and we're so worried about shoving their own political narratives into the content that they would ruin basically anything that they would touch so on one hand yes entertainment was paused and there still is some good entertainment co coming out of hollywood very rare instances but still some but again these are the people who have uh, ruined a, a lot of the franchises we have nostalgia and love for it says a financial Financial analyst and YouTuber Valiant Renegade reacted to the recent deal the Writers Guild of America signed, claiming it will end up putting a number of writers out of work. I bet that the people who were making the deals don't actually care. They did not care. They wanted the strike to be over because their top talent was not making money. Their top talent was probably getting antsy, probably getting pissed off, and then they decided, you know what, we have to sacrifice a few writers in order for the many to be working again. People need money, people need to be working, um, and they probably don't actually care about all of the writers, let's be honest. They can act like they do, but they don't. It says the Writers Guild of America West announced they had cut a deal with the studios earlier this week, week writing the WGA reached a agreement with the AMPTP, and we didn't really know the details, we didn't really know a lot of information but now we have an idea. Reacting to the deal, the financial analysts shared the union bosses of the WGA have declared victory against Hollywood studios. Meanwhile, a lot of the rank and file writers, the union members themselves, are probably going to be out of work and perhaps even looking for new careers. He went on to explain, so pretty much as we predicted or as any economics textbook could have predicted of, of this, if there was going to be an artificial increase in labor costs, then there was going to be a necessary offset by way of production costs. From there, he cited an article by Deadline who notes the uh, studios won't be making as many TV shows and thus there won't be as many jobs for the writers. So it is a ripple effect. While most writers are going to be back to work, there is still going to be a percentage that are going to be out of work because, yes, studios will not be making as much content, meaning they don't need as many people. It's just that simple. But honestly, I can't say that I'm all that surprised or even that I really care because these are the people that, you know, have damaged the, the industry in totality. This is another article by Bounding Into Comics. Hollywood screenwriter explains how woke diversity hires will be out of jobs under new WGA deal. Good. I'm glad that we are actually purging these individuals, that they will be out of the industry. Some of the worst people, I'm sure, are, you know, going to get the boot. Um, I don't see the strikes ending as, you know, this new phase of Hollywood and this new phase of entertainment. I've seen some people try to claim that maybe this will mean that they will drastically change. I don't think so. I think they're going to go back to doing the same things that they were doing. Unfortunately, I don't like to be negative, but uh, I just don't see a way that they are going to, that they're going to change unless, you know, the companies decide, well, since we're making less content, we have to take less risks. We have to stick to the formulas that we know sell. And it's just that simple. I mean, looking at, you know, a... 
Avengers Infinity War versus an Eternals or Black Widow, I mean, there is a clear difference in not only quality, but the amount of money that these films brought in. I mean, Avengers Infinity War was a absolutely gigantic movie, but then the films that they took risk with, like Black Widow or Eternals, just did not do good. This article, though, says screenwriter Script Doctor recently asserted that woke diversity hires will be out of jobs under the newly minted deal that the WGA signed with the studios. It says he was asked by uh, the show's host, Andre, on Midnight's Edge, will there be less jobs for writers now that you have guaranteed writers' rooms? And he went on to say, well, this is one of the things I didn't like in regards to the guaranteed writers' rooms because you have compelled hiring. But it looks like certain Certain members in the union will be the negotiating committee uh, have turned that inside out a little bit for the benefit of writers that know how to finish a script and maybe uh, not push too much ideology in there. Now, obviously, I want new, good, talented writers to make their way into the industry, and it will be harder for new blood to, you know, forge their forge their way and forge their reputation in the industry now. But at the same time, there is a reason why there are writers and producers in Hollywood that are well known and ultimately loved because they know what audiences want and they know how to make good content. So while yes, we're going to be losing out on potentially new writers, it's not like they will not have opportunities, but also this I really do, do hope will get companies thinking about the content that they're creating instead of pushing out every project that writers come up with and untalented writers, again, look at, like, Marvel and the MCU, for instance. Look at how many bad shows we have gotten over the past few years. No one wants to watch a She-Hulk, okay? No one wants to watch a Miss Marvel. People want to watch the good stuff, the good content that made your universe so popular, that made it such a fan favorite. I mean, he even went on to discuss the MCU specifically, saying, let's face it, a big part of the problem that we've had, especially with MCU of late, isn't just the producers behind the scenes have gone nuts, it is also the writers' rooms are staffed with incompetence and general assorted activists, many of whom would be these younglings, if you will, that come in not through merit but through other means and produce a bunch of bullshit. And this is what we have been saying for so long. We have gotten so much bad content content, not just because of, you know, actors and not just because of producers or directors, because of writers, because you have these people who are just activists. That is not what we need. We need talented individuals who can actually do their jobs. And on top of it, you're putting them out there. You're getting notes back. You're going back and forth. You're dividing a lot of your time. This is the big red flag I've pointed out, especially with Dave Callum. He's written Wonder Woman 1984, Zombieland 2, Mortal Kombat, and Shang-Chi. These four movies alone came out within a year of each other, and they were all terrible. But he was a hot ticket item writer for for the studios. I really hope that going forward we actually see good content coming out. We stop seeing things like the Star Trek discoveries. We stop seeing things like the Rings of Power. Another example here is Netflix's Cleopatra that was a docudrama that was just a abysmal and absurd, and I hope that we get back to seeing good content because now they don't want to put as much money into projects, and that means that they really have to hone in on who they're hiring and what content is getting greenlit. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.